WordPress 6.1 is set to go live tomorrow, November 1st, 2022. So we thought we would cover some of the updates that are coming out. So let's dive in. First, you get a new default theme. At the end of every year, the last update always comes with a new theme and this year is no different. So if you go into appearance themes, then you'll see the default 2023 theme. This theme is featuring a minimalist style and it's also a full block theme with full site editing capability. This new theme comes with 10 different style combinations that you can choose from right from here. You can browse all of the styles that come with it and choose that right from here. It also ships with a few new fonts that you can choose from right from here and that will cover all of your site. Now let's move to the blog editor improvements. Many of us live in this area because we are writing our content or creating new content. And so this is what a lot of us will see. With WordPress 6.1, they bring dimensions to more blogs like paragraph, list, column, table, and more. This will allow users to set padding and margin for more blocks and have a much more finer control over the design and layout of your site. Also let users visualize the changes while adjusting the padding and the margins for that block. So you'll see it in real time. Next, we also have improved border options. So with WordPress 6.1, users can add borders to more blocks. You also have the ability to adjust the top, right, bottom, and left all separately. And previously you could change the radius of the block, but now you also have the ability to add actual border into each of the blocks. Next, let's talk about featured image in a cover block. A lot of times users would ask us that it was the difference between a featured image and a cover block. And then many users wanted to use the cover block as the featured image for their site. And now at 6.1, users will be allowed to select the featured image for a cover block. You can then adjust the featured image and it'll start appearing inside of the cover as well. Do note that depending on your theme, if this option isn't used correctly, then you might see a featured image appear twice on the screen. Next, let's talk about list blocks with inner blocks. So if you ever work in a list block, maybe you want to move items around within that list. Previously, you could only move the whole list. Now you have the ability to have a list block within their own block so you can move them and adjust them as you want. The next thing that they looked at is improving the navigation block. The navigation block will let you easily create and select a menu from the block settings. Then you'll also be able to, to design tools for the submenus to make them look and style them differently, say from the parent menu. Next, they have some editor design enhancements that'll be helpful for many people. These changes will improve your user experience with the block screen editor. So first off, the preview button is now labeled as view. Many times if you're making an update, then you would have the ability to preview that update. That simply has been changed to view. The status and visibility panel is now called the summary. The status and visibility under the post settings will be renamed to summary. And then the permalink and template options will go under the summary panel. They used to be on their own, but now they will be under the summary panel for you. And then we also have an improved information panel. Typically this shows how many words, how many characters you have. They've also added a time to read. So you'll see just how long it would take someone to read your item. And then with the site icon that will replace the logo. So if you have the site icon for your website, then it will also be used as the view post button on the top left corner of the screen. This will only show if you're in full screen mode. If you're not in full screen, it won't show the icon. Now let's take a look at some of the preferences that you have available. The three dots up here shows all the preferences if we click on preference tab. And from here, we have a few new items. Under general, you now have a show button for text label. When you click on that, these items up here that are all in icons, which nobody usually knows what they are. If you click on that, it shows what all of those items mean and it shows the text label instead. Then you can also choose to always open list view and that will simply keep the list view of your post over on the left always open for you. With WordPress 6.0, you can create more templates in the site editor. So in the classic WordPress theme, you could use and create templates using the template hierarchy and extend the WordPress theme by writing code. Now you can do that without having to write code. And to do that, just go to appearance editor and then select the templates here and then click add new. And then you can see the available options for you. With 6.1 closing out the development season for 2022, let us know in the comments below which feature are you most excited about? And thanks for watching.